The Harbin Z9C is a naval utility helicopter used by the People's Liberation Army Navy, mainly in anti-submarine or ASW missions and in naval reconnaissance. This is one of the two workhorse choppers of the Chinese naval aviation, along with the more advanced Z18F. Thanks for tuning in. I don't know very much about helicopters at all. Um, my interest in them only extends to their naval functionality, but they are important for modern navies, so I need to take a look at them. If helicopters are your thing, please do call out in the comments what aspects I should be focusing on. The Z9C is the naval variant of the Harbin Z9 family of military utility helicopters, of which more than 200 are in service throughout the world. The Z9 is a subclass of the French AS-365 Dauphin helicopter. It was first produced in China in 1981 under a production license purchased from the French corporation Aerospatial. By the early 1990s, the Harbin Aircraft Manufacturing Corporation was able to produce the Z9 with mostly domestically sourced components. The Z9 formally entered service in the Chinese PLA in 1994. There are several variants used for different roles. The WZ9 is a light attack helicopter serving in the ground forces, equipped with anti-tank missiles and night fighting technology. The Z9EH is a light passenger transport or cargo transport. We are interested in the Z9C, the naval version intended for operation on warships. The Z9C is powered by two WZ8A turboshaft engines, which is a license-built version of a French design, giving a power output of 848 horsepower. This is much smaller than other contemporary naval helicopters. The Russian Ka-27, for example, has 2,230 horsepower. Presumably, this has affected the maximum takeoff weight, which is only one third of the Ka-27 or the Chinese Z-18F. There is only the capacity for less than two tons of weapons and equipment, such as sonar boys. There is space for two pilots and up to 10 passengers, although you won't be able to carry most of the equipment with a full complement. The top speed is 165 knots, or 305 kilometers per hour. Operational range is 427 kilometers, with an endurance of about two and a quarter hours. The range and the endurance are fairly low compared to other naval helicopters. The Z9C lacks substantial stealth features, reflecting its late 1970s design. The Z9C has two main combat roles, which are ASW and also an anti-shipping role, although the latter is primarily confined to locating enemy warships. To fight against submarines, the Z9C carries two U7 lightweight torpedoes, one on either side of the fuselage. The U7 is a standard ASW torpedo serving in the PLA Navy, with a range of about 10 kilometers. Many contemporary ASW helicopters carry up to four torpedoes, but two should be plenty for the job if the submarine is being properly tracked. The mothership can always fire an ASW missile over if the distance is close enough. The Z9C is equipped with a Type 605 dipping sonar to detect submarines and plot coordinates for torpedo launch. The sources I have seen suggest to me that this is only an active sonar, but do feel free to correct me on that. Like most dipping sonars, the active sonar range is small at an estimated 5.6 kilometers. The Z9C carries up to 20 sonar boys, which can be either passive or active sonars. These can be dropped into the water to close down the space available for enemy submarines and potentially detect them. The helicopter can receive radio signals from the sonar boys within a range of 10 kilometers. For anti-surface action, the Z9C largely serves a reconnaissance role. It has the KLC-1 X-band radar for surface search. The X-band frequency range on this radar gives a fairly high resolution signal, but it is usually confined to short ranges on warships 
because of radar horizon limitations. However, on board a helicopter, it has a very long range that is boosted by a high altitude. Maximum range is 330 km, but the actual range depends on the chopper's altitude, the size of the target, and the stealth capability. Once a surface target has been acquired, the signal is transmitted to friendly warships, who will have the option of launching anti-ship cruise missiles at it, providing that they are within range. The Z9D, a more recent naval variant, is armed with the YJ-9 lightweight anti-ship cruise missile. But these are subsonic, and estimated to have a very short firing range of 15 kilometers. Most modern warships are typically brimming with air defense weapons that can easily take down a slow helicopter at fairly long ranges. For a Z9D to engage a target at 15 kilometers, it needs to be very confident that the enemy does not have any SAM missiles beyond very short ranges. The Z9D also lacks sufficient stealth features to get that close to a target without being detected. Carrying anti-ship missiles will also curtail the room for ASW equipment. Therefore, I do not believe the Z9D helicopter will replace the Z9C as the main helicopter on board Chinese warships. So, everything I have said so far might suggest that the Z9C is quite a solid naval helicopter. But, this more reflects just how important helicopters are to warships. Helicopters are pivotal to ASW operations by massively extending the range at which submarines can be tracked. Secondly, a long warship has a very difficult time detecting other ships at long ranges, particularly in an age where stealth designs are becoming the norm. You might be able to detect a target with low frequency radars, but the returns will be rather weak, and you might have a hard time identifying what the ship is, let alone its course and speed. A reconnaissance helicopter basically shines a flashlight at distance targets and paints them for potential missile strike. As for the Z9C itself, I think it does need to be replaced over time, because its age and horsepower limitations are self-evident. The ASW capability of the Z9C is limited by its relatively small range and endurance, as well as the space constraints for sonar buoys and torpedoes. The PLA is in the process of replacing them with more capable platforms, such as the Z18F and the KA-28, which is the imported version of the Russian KA-27. That said, I also think the Z9C is performing at a somewhat satisfactory level, such that the need for its replacement is not urgent at all, and can be done in a measured and calm approach. This is all folks on the Harbin Z9C naval helicopter. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that bell icon if you haven't done so already. See you next time.